As a front-end developer, you frequently need to test your code with variations in the request and response bodies. There are many tools to help you with modifying and intercepting HTTP requests, but when working with GraphQL, the situation becomes a little tricky, as the request endpoint is same for all the APIs, only request body changes. Requestly comes with different filters that enable you to filter the request based on operation name and query. Let's try to override a request body of a GraphQL API using Requestly. You can use these steps to modify any request. Let's take an example. The website medium.com uses GraphQL API. Let's try to modify request body of its GraphQL API and its effect on front end. Let's first find out the API that we can modify. We would go to the Network tab, refresh the page, and find the GraphQL API. Multiple GraphQL APIs are there. Let's filter them out by searching for GraphQL. Now, let's try to modify the request for recommended topics on the right. I think this one is bringing data for recommended topics. Right sidebar query. Let's check the response. This seems to be the right API for this particular section. So let's try to modify this API using its endpoint and its operation name. We'll go to Requestly and create a new HTTP rule. Select the Modify Request Body and click the Create Rule. In this window, you can modify any type of request. For now, we are targeting GraphQL API. Let's name it to medium.com. Sidebar Query Change. For this demonstration, we'll have to use the programmatic section because we'll filter the request based on the operation. So we have different arguments available from the request. We'll take body as JSON argument that has request body as JSON. In request body, we have the whole query inside an array. So we'll start with zero, then we'll put the operation name keyword. This will fetch the operation name, so we'll put a condition around it and compare it with right sidebar query. Now, we will be able to easily target this API call and we'll modify the request body. So let's copy the value of query, copy string content. Oh, I think we copied the query value in the wrong format. We need it in a string format. Now it's good. Let's try to change the value of limit in query and see if we can change the number of items in the API response. So we are getting limit as seven items. We can see seven topics listed here. Let's change it to a bigger number and set it as 200. Let's set it to the value of query in body as JSON and we will return the body as JSON. Now let's save the rule and see if it works. Try to refresh it. So we have a very big list of topics as we modified the request to load 200 topics. Now let's try to modify it further. Let's try to remove the topic name from the request query. I think the data is coming as a display title. Let's check the response ones. So in that, if you see, we are getting display title along with ID and normalized tag slug. So let's try to remove this display title and see how it affects our results. So, medium.com front end is not throwing any error, but just showing empty tags because the text is not coming. I hope you got the context of how to use Requestly for different GraphQL API request modifications. You can also modify the response of this API using the Modify API Response Rule. Check the description for the video link of GraphQL API response modification. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and keep sharing your feedback. We love to hear how Requestly helps you.